hi everyone and welcome back to my channel in this quick video i want to show you how to prune your um verbena bonariensis so this one is from last year and um, i kept it all unpruned because um, i didn't want the frost to get to it but it is now um, mid-march and it's um, just about time to prune it down as well because we have some new shoots in already so what i'm going to do is just to get rid of all the old growth which is all these spent flowers um, and there are some new shoots which i'm going to reduce um, down to the ground i'll show you a little bit closer in a second um, and i'm going to try to just keep all the very straight new growth rather than keeping all these kind of side shoots spindly bits um, because that would give us quite um, weak plant and obviously under the power of wind and um, also maybe later frost in the year it might just break and the, the plant won't look as good so the new straight um, kind of vertical growth will give us much better plant so here is it a little bit closer so you see these are the old flowers this is all old growth from last year and the plant itself looks quite good actually so if i would keep those new side shoots it would still look good but um, it, it would kind of look more messy than just keeping the new growth and also these will be much weaker and the plant um, the side shoots definitely um, might just bend under the weight of all the flowers so what i'm going to keep is definitely those new shoots like you see in here this is a brand new straight nice looking shoot and then i'm going to go down each stem and just cut above the new pair of leaves or new shoots um, and that will also encourage the rest of the plant and the little short stem to produce more new growth and as i always say it's best to start slowly so if you're not really sure what you're doing you can just start here and then you can slightly go lower lower and you could leave those um, bottom shoots only and maybe you just chop them you can see there is a new growth here so you would cut here or literally just down here or down here so definitely take your time if you want to and what i also wanted to say is um, you don't have to be um, scared to get all these nice new shoots away because what you can do with them afterwards is to keep them as cuttings and i know usually you take your cuttings from uh, plants like this like verbena for example like uh, the perennials um, in the summer when you have those nice um, new shoots uh, and they have a much better chance of um, growing and starting off well but um, I definitely will give it a go and I'm sure some of them will take quite well um, especially if I can put them into either a greenhouse or you can put them in a cold frame or even in boxes um, like I do here just those plastic boxes where I keep my cuttings from last year so with no further ado I'm gonna get pruning And what you can definitely see is the color so this is how you decide whether it's a new growth or, or an old growth so the old growth you can definitely see the color of the leaf is more dark green in comparison to the old to the new growth sorry to the new growth where it's very fresh new bright green 
this one also as you can see got a little bit of mildew so if you do have any dead or diseased plant definitely get rid of it so i will try to get rid of these affected stems and um, leaves as much as i can so these will be the ones that will go down the most so like with this one i'm going right down the stem and as uh, with any other pruning make sure you prune in a 45 uh, uh, degree angle Okay, so this is it. I'm done now. You can see how much is on the left. I didn't go right down down with every single stem. Obviously, when there was a nice shoot like this one or this one or this one, which is literally from the ground, I left them. I might just go and cut um, some of the leaves out, the ones that are still white, because I don't want anything from the mildew, mildew to spread on the other. Uh, stems and I had to be really careful as well but I definitely gave a little bit more of light for the bulbs that I planted in here so I have some tulips coming out daffodils that are coming slightly over and there are some other ones on the other side and I do have a feeling that I also planted an allium here as well so definitely they will have a little bit more of sun and space and um, a little bit more nutrients as well. And these are all the off cuttings. So as I said, I will definitely keep some of them as cuttings, pop them one by one into um, a pot with some soil. Um, and see how they will go hopefully they will take on and i will have a few more free plants right i really hope this was helpful i hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something new as well please do subscribe to my channel if you did find any value and also if you did like the video please don't forget to hit the like button as well and i will see you in the next video bye until then